by hand. We can do that. Sorry, I wasn't checking it. I just, I didn't get the notification from Twitch that I went live. So I can't see my own chat. It's weird. I really don't like all these changes that they made to Twitch's setup. It's very confusing. I don't like how you can't get rid of that sidebar with the followers and the recommendations. But it's okay. We'll do what we can. I have my dear friend Adijas with me today. He's gonna keep me company for a little while. Hello. Yeah, buggy start went on and off. That's weird. Am I on now? It says I've only been on for 59 seconds, but on Streamlabs, it says I've been on for two minutes. So I don't know what, what that's about. But can you see me now? Are we all good? And my poor cat, I think he's had a high stress day too. He's suckling on this blanket so goddamn hard. Yeah, on now all good. Well then, thank you. Good morning, Dank. What are you getting up to on this lovely Friday? I guess for you. Ireland, right? Is it Ireland or Scotland? Either way, it's like midday for you. Hello, Mr. Ginger Cat. That's his goddamn name. So yeah, what are you doing today? What's, what's your exciting plan? Also, if you have any doodle requests, please go right ahead, because otherwise I'm going to start drawing some very bizarre things, and I think this morning is going to devolve very quickly. Heroes for ghosts. Ooh, I think one of these days I might just put on a full album to listen to through a stream. Like, we could listen to the entirety of Dark Side of the Moon just in one sitting. I think that'd be fun. Alright. So yeah. Oh, shit. Was packing at the moment you went live to go visit Black Eye Fish? Dude, I... Okay, I knew there was something between you two since you always popped up in my chat at the same time, but I didn't realize that you guys were that tight. So when I heard you on his stream yesterday, I bugged out. I was like, straight up impressed. Going on to celebrate him going to India. So why is he going to India? I remember him talking about it yesterday and a couple of days ago when I streamed, but what's, what's the occasion? What's he doing there? training for his new job. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I wish my job was sending me out to India to go check stuff out. That sounds like a lot of fun. Is he gonna go to India, like, officially though? I guess it's kind of weird that we are here without him, and yeah, we're just talking about him. But that's really cool. How are you guys gonna celebrate though? Oh, Black Eye Fish is hosting me! Ah, uh, I don't know if that means Black Eye Fish is watching, but if you are, hello. How are you guys gonna celebrate, though? You're gonna throw an OG party? He was getting a visa and vaccine shots just today. Ooh, that kind of sucks, though. You have to get a lot of shots when you go out there. To India, and especially, like, Eastern Asia, and Africa, too, I guess. Us white people are not prepped to handle the things that happen over there. Get, get riggedy riggedy wrecked. You should, you should stream that. I'm not telling you how to live your lives, but I kind of want to see y'all get riggedy riggedy wrecked. That sounds like fun. I wish I was getting riggedy riggedy wrecked too. My riggedy riggedy wrecked friend Yeva that I streamed with on Saturday, she's gone to Hawaii without me. So I'm not getting riggedy riggedy wrecked. I'm sitting here sipping tea thinking about doodling. Also watching your stream with you. I, also I was watching your stream with Yeva and captured this. I don't know if something comes after captured this, or if it's a link, but I see nothing. Oh shit. 
You know, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't rewatched a single stream that I've done, so I'm almost afraid to click whatever it is that you sent me. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, that's painful to watch. Thank you, but also, why would you do that to me? <laughs> I was thinking about that too. I think that is one of the silliest things that I've done so far. Hold on a sec, my cat wants out. My cat can't hang. But yeah, Dank, thank you for the gift. I'm gonna cherish that truly forever. Named it Migladab. Dear God, don't let that go anywhere and don't let anyone ever see that because that is super bizarre. I feel like my dabbing skills need to be stepped up. I mean, I'm only a poor white girl in America, you know, I can't. I've seen people do it where it's such a fluid motion, you know, there's a real snap to it. I feel mine is just so awkward. Lol King, hello, welcome. Rotten Begotten, ooh, I like your name. Nice, welcome. Feels good, man. No, dude, thank God. Our new friends can't click the link that you just sent because this is super embarrassing. Dank just posted a gif of me doing the weakest dab and while vaping nonetheless. And I'll tell you a secret, I was also coughing into my elbow as I was dabbing because of the vaping. So the whole thing was just embarrassing. Rotten Begotten, what are you getting up to today? Is it morning where, are you, where you are? Afternoon? I tried to get on a little bit early today because I want to make a lot of European friends. So what are you getting up to today? Same goes for you, uh, lol king. Can I just call you king? Same goes for you, king. What are you guys getting up to today? I haven't started a single doodle. Uh, what do I draw today? I was really hoping I would get a little bit of drawing practice in because this is something I've been putting off forever. If you whisper me, I may send the link to Rare Pepe. Oh no, I may send the link. No, please don't whisper him, please don't get that link. It's really embarrassing. I didn't sleep. Well, that sucks. So, I'm assuming that means it's early in the morning for you though, so good morning, I guess? It's one of those things, it's like when someone gets a divorce, right? When you meet someone on the tail end of a very, very long night, I never know whether to apologize or to congratulate them. Kind of like a divorce, because the spouse could have been terrible, but also the spouse could have been awesome and then left you, so I'm sorry, but also good morning. <laughs> yeah, it's morning, I live in NJ. Oh, rotten begotten. I also live in NJ. I have the day off today, so I'm just being lazy this morning. Well, thank you for joining us. I am also clearly being very lazy this morning. I live in Florida. Okay, so we're all same time zone. It's only dank that's a million miles away. I kind of have insomnia, so I find it hard to sleep myself. That really really sucks. I know some people who have hardcore insomnia and I've kept them up through nights. It's not fun. It's really fucked up. Isn't it kind of just unbelievable how the human brain can betray you like that? Like, you have one job. You lay down, your brain's supposed to just shut off, but it just refuses. Though, on the flip side, I know that there's a disease that you can contract where you just won't be able to fall asleep for months at a time and then you die. So, at least it's not that. Sweet. First streamer that also lives in NJ that I found. Yeah, I haven't seen many other people who live in New Jersey. I mean, I know a few. I host a few. Do you stream too? I'm just working on my Discord server because I started a stream, so you know. Low King, I have a question for you. Did you just start your stream? Because I started this a week ago and I actually had someone hitting me up to help make me a Discord server. I just, I don't know if it's worth it. What's making you, like, go forth and build that server right now? Sorry, I'm gonna turn down my music a little bit. It's distracting myself. I'm just gonna get closer to you guys. I feel like the doodling will come if it comes. I have chat open on my phone because I'm also blind. Um, but yeah, Lul King, what makes you want to start that Discord server? I was tempted, but I feel like it might be a little early. I don't know if anyone's gonna use it. My mind races even when all I do is focus on my own breathing. Yeah, I know. Dank people will tell you to, like, 
count sheep. I know that doesn't do anything. Have you tried meds though? I know melatonin, if they sell it where you are, just melatonin capsules knock some people out. But you also build up a tolerance to it, so you have to be careful. I used to, been too busy with work and life to stream again. Yeah, <laughs> right now I am in a month where I have just about nothing to do. And for two weeks, two and a half weeks, I'm gonna have a free house so I can do whatever crazy streaming stuff I want. But after that, I'm gonna have college and work, so I don't know how this is gonna go. We have a Discord too. It's so we can talk to our viewers when the stream is off. Yeah, hello. Also, hello. Welcome to Zoom Wolf. I just, I feel like, I don't know, if people will use it, I have absolutely no problem setting up a Discord. It's not like it's a big pain. I would like to have a channel where you guys can like recommend music because when I have song requests on, some of you have very awesome taste in music, except for a few people who know who they are, but do to let them you jesus christ little king do t let them you less you trust oh okay hold on do to let them unless you trust them because they can mess up your discord server yeah i'm not gonna call out names but the person who was trying to set me up the discord server was being kind of pushy which is why i didn't want to do it with them i think i'm just gonna set it up myself if anything In I'm making it because later on I don't feel like making it. That's fair. At least you know yourself well enough. A nice way to keep communicating with the people. That makes sense. I'm going to finish packing up. Maybe doodle how you imagine that would look. Back in a few. Alright, dang, thank you. Yeah, Discord is the way to go. Alright, fine. After this, I'll set up a Discord. In honor of me being on here for a week and all of you guys turning up so early in the morning to hang out with me, I will set up the Discord. Lol King, we have it set so you can only see or chat on most channels if you are following us. But a follow is free, right? So what... What is the point, Zunwolf, of setting it up so that only followers can chat? Because following is really easy, you know, it's just a click of a button. Does that actually prevent spam? It's all good. I need help though, because it's tough. What's tough? Setting up the server itself isn't bad. But the person who was talking to me about setting it up was talking about how you can create bots that'll like announce when you go live, play games. I would want to set up stuff like that. That might be a little complicated. To make sure we don't get botted. Can bots... I guess this is gonna sound like a stupid question, but can a bot also follow you? I have it set to followers and you have to be following for at least one hour. Do you do that on your regular chat too i didn't want to do that because honestly i don't really mind if someone just hops in and starts chatting but that might be a good idea rotten begotten have you listened to sabaton no i haven't is that a song or an artist recommend me a song if that's an artist or an artist if that's a song either way we can listen to whatever i usually have song requests set up it's just today i didn't want to do it because i wanted to keep the music low-key and i have some people who have a tendency to throw memes in our song list, which is fine. Just not, you know, not on a chill morning like today. No, only Discord. We got botted on another server. Got about 30 bots, all spam the same message 400 times in one minute. That sounds super annoying. I kind of figured that's just something I'll handle if it becomes an issue. Like, I, I don't really foresee that being a problem yet. If it is, I'll deal with it. Zoon Wolf, if I whisper you, will you also help me if I have questions during this process? I mean, I'm also a computer science major, so I guess in theory I should know a thing or two about programming and setting up bots. But I just haven't tried it yet. Is it complicated? Is it programming? I'm just living off of the assumption that there's gonna be some programming stuff involved. Rotten Begun, I'm an artist, kind of heavy metal, but not with all the screaming. They're really good. Oh, I thought you said I'm an artist, sorry. Like I said, I'm blind. Also, Zunwolf, thank you. Oh yeah, Zunwolf, you hit me up, or your lady. I don't know which one of you is on the account right now, but one of you hit me up in, the, in my whispers and I forgot to reply, but I was looking through people to auto-host and I still haven't gotten a chance to check out your channel, but if it's cool, I'm also gonna add you to my auto-hosting because I like having cool content creators playing all the time, even if I'm not online, you know? It's- I'm the lady. Well, hello, the lady. 
Hold on, you told me to call you something. It was Wolf. Something Wolf. It wasn't Zune Wolf, though. Please remind me, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, Rotten Begotten. It's an artist. Heavy metal without all the screaming. I actually, I also kind of like heavy metal with all the screaming. Are we okay with a sudden mood change here? Can I play some heavy metal without all the screaming? I stream three times a day, Overwatch and Fortnite and other stuff. That's pretty cool. How do you feel playing really saturated games like that? I mean, I guess you can play whatever you like. You don't have to do it for the views. But I will also check you out after. Lol King, also send me a whisper to remind me. All right, hold on. We are going to check out Sabaton. Sabaton. I feel like Sabaton sounds better, so that's what that's what we're going to call him. I feel like our day is about to take a very badass turn. This is called To Hell and Back. Jesus Christ, my CPU usage is unbelievable right now. I can hear my computer whining. It's very strange. This is actually pretty cool already. I'm gonna save that. You got it right the first time, so I'm guessing it's Sabaton then. I stream three times a day. Those games, I find we get lost. Get nothing out of streaming for more popular games. We stick to the least popular ones. Hey, the Zoon Wolf, thank you very much. Oh, for the host. Thank you. But yeah, I don't know. I feel almost like it's very hard to get that right. I know there's one website that can show you games that have a lot of viewers, but the top channels aren't hogging all the viewers. I forget what the site's called, but supposedly that's helpful for picking out games if you want to see growth in games. No viewers, but you want auto. Thank you very much. I will also add you, I'll just add you after this. Twitch, Twitch Strike, something like that. No, I think it is exactly Twitch Strike. So supposedly that helps you pick out games, but here's the thing. There's a game that I really want to play. It's an action-packed multiplayer game called Club Penguin. And it has, like, straight-up zero viewers at any point, and I really want to play it, but I feel like it wouldn't really make any sense to pop open a game that has no viewers. So you need people with few viewers, but not a lot of big shots, like Shroud in there. You know, because if Shroud's streaming a game, what are the odds that someone's gonna find you? I gave you helper roll. Are you saying that to me? What's helper? I don't know what that is, but let me know. Good evening. Hello, Lauren. Where are you joining us from that it's evening for you? For me, it's almost 11 a.m. So where are you joining us from? But also good evening. We're just chilling out, sipping some tea. I was going to give reflections on my one week on Twitch. Oh, I can see why my CPU usage went up. Norton opened itself. 1654. Four. Okay, 454. Wait, where are you guys based, too? This is fantastic that I'm making friends on the other side of the world, though, because when I auto-host, you guys will be on when I'm not on, so I can always have cool people on. Hang on, it's afternoon, 4 o'clock in the UK. Okay. Well, there you go. Welcome from the UK. England. My first stream, I got 30 viewers and 15 followers. It's my Discord role when they help set up. Oh, that's cool. Also, congrats on the first stream getting that big. Damn. I'm in Denmark. Ooh, Denmark is a very, very beautiful country. I've been thinking about visiting there. Next summer, I'm planning a big Euro trip, and I was thinking, like, Denmark, maybe Sweden. France, again. France is one place that I am super eager to go back to. The food there is incredible. And if you guys haven't hung around long enough, you might not know this, but I am an absolute fatty. Like, the joy that eating good food brings me cannot be exaggerated enough. So France was an absolute dream for me. We went to Paris, we went down all the back streets to find the delicious food. So I'll go back there. I'll go to my home country. If I do visit Denmark, what should I check out? 
Ukraine. Ooh, where are you gonna go in Ukraine? Ukraine is near my uh, home country, Lithuania. You should also stop by Lithuania. Just by the way, it's an absolutely beautiful tiny country. I'm gonna get the chill beats back on. But if anyone else has song recommendations, just hit me up with them directly. I turned off song requests just for this because I wasn't planning on being on too long. What part of America are you in? East Coast. I'm in New Jersey. So, it's not too far off to stream during Europe hours too. I like a good morning stream to start off my day. It's gonna be a super busy day, guys. That's also why I wanted to have tea and just hang out. Because at work, I have these interns that I'm supposed to be mentoring. And today they finished their internship and they have to give presentations on all the work and the research that they've done. I wasn't planning on checking them out, but now we've become friends and I've helped them throughout the entire summer, so I feel kind of obligated to go and see what they've gotten up to, you know? So I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna support them. I have to leave in like an hour for that. I can be a little late, but that's my plan for today. So it's gonna be a very busy day, which is why I wanted to just hang. Pripyat Chernobyl, oh my god, Rotten Begotten, that is literally one of my biggest dreams is to visit Chernobyl and it's kind of weird because I'm a big hypochondriac I'm terrified of getting cancer and dying but to me the thought of visiting Pripyat and walking through the ruins it's absolutely amazing are you gonna get a guided to tour through there or like how are you gonna do that and is it expensive I remember watching a documentary of people who visited Pripyat they toured through the whole area but they had to get a special guide and they couldn't stray, they couldn't do anything. I just love the idea of visiting somewhere where everything is left exactly like it was, what is it, 30 years ago now? It's amazing. I mean, of course, the circumstances were terrible, but... Given up trying to remember stuff to bring. What do you even need to remember to bring? Does he live far away from you? Is that what it is? Because if you're going to party, all you need to bring is a good attitude, homie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's nothing to even remember. Yes, the guided tour. And don't worry, most people that visit Chernobyl end up leaving with less radiation than you would flying on a plane. Yeah, I have heard that too. But still, it's, it's the principle of the thing, you know? All Gillied Up is my favorite anime. Is this an actual anime? Please do anime recommendations. Are we allowed to do an anime watch party? Can I watch my first ever anime with you guys? Is that allowed? Hi. Hey, Napistai. Napistai, hello and welcome. And good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. All right, I'm checking out this anime. Oh. This isn't an anime. I got duped once more. Oh, guys, there's a game, and it's not mod Modern Warfare, it's not Call of Duty. There's a game where you go through the ruins of, I don't know if it's specifically Chernobyl, but you go through the ruins, it's a horror game, it's a shooter, you fight the mutants. What game am I thinking of? This isn't a guessing game, I just can't remember. Hello, Kangjuar. In the arms of an angel? I am very, very terrible at singing. I don't think you would want to hear me sing in the arms of an angel, but by God, if you're serious, I'll give it a go. But just consider whether or not you want 10 people to have bleeding ears after it. Stalker! Rotten Begotten. Yes, it's Stalker. I've been wanting to play that game so badly. That's how deep my fantasy of visiting, like, Rotten Wastelands goes. Also, Rotten Begotten, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the family, homie. It was a mission that took place in Chernobyl, that's what my only experience with it. Yeah, Stalker. Yeah, go for it, now I'm excited. Fuck. Alright. Do I have to put on the tunes? I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually know much more of the lyrics, but hold on. Let me- let me get some animals. This isn't gonna be fair if I don't have some very sad, injured-looking animals to sing with. Jesus Christ. So guys, this is this is my sloth, but he has velcro arms that don't stick together, so we're going to have a very sad song for him. Hi. 
I have to get some background tunes or this is going to be very terrible. Oh, there's one with lyrics. Is this just going to turn into straight up karaoke right now? All right, everyone get your get your wipes ready. This is going to get very sad. All your time waiting for a second chance. Break that would make it okay. There's always a to not good enough. And it's hard at the end of the day. It's some distraction. Oh, beautiful release. Mary seep from my veins. Me be empty. Away this and maybe find some peace tonight. In the arms of an angel. Uh, guys, I can't believe I just discovered that I am the next big hit singer. Was that beautiful or what? I, I know, everybody get the napkins out. This is <laughs> truly a beautiful moment. Thank you all. Be sure to like and subscribe and send $10 to support the very hurt animals here in the Migla house. Thank you, thank you. King Jor, I hope that lived up to all of your expectations of random str That was incredible. I'm in tears. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed. That's all for you, homie. <laughs> oh. I'll get the tunes back on. God, I forgot where we even were. Oh, I love this song. But yeah, Chernobyl, Perpia, that sounds like it's going to be absolutely fun. Props to you, homie. I hope you have a good time. Apply for America's Got Talent. Actually, you know what the really sad thing is, guys? I'm gonna tell you a little secret from my childhood. I genuinely did think that I was gonna be a big hit singer. Like when I was around eight, like still in elementary, middle school, I was actually part of the choir. You may not believe this, but I thought I was gonna be a singer. I would watch American Idol and dream about the day that I could go and audition and Simon Cowell would look at me and he wouldn't have a mean thing to say. He would say, oh, you hit those notes. It was so incredible. I can't believe how excited I am. You're in, you're gonna be a star. That was exactly what Simon Cowell was gonna say to me. But then <laughs> I had a concert with chorus coming up, right, with the, the choir of my school. And after the concert, my dad told me the very harsh truth that I probably shouldn't stay in the choir because I'm actually a terrible singer. God bless his heart, because someone needed to tell me. He wasn't mean about it, he was just being honest. He's one of those dads who will tell me like it is so that someone else doesn't have to tell me, you know, so that my friends don't go up to me and make fun of me for being a bad singer. But that just about crushed all of my singing dreams. It was very sad, but I got over it. I'm not gonna be a singer. Golden buzzer time, savage dad geez. Listen, he's just honest. Imagine I had gone on to like high school, they would have torn me apart. I'm glad my dad stopped me where he did. It's fine, though, for what it's worth, there are some songs that I can sing okay if they have that deep, deep voice like, um, I forget what the song is called, but it's about a big black horse and a cherry tree. That's about the one and only song where I can kind of sort of hit the notes. But it's okay that I don't have a nice singing voice because I'm actually a rapper. So you may not expect it looking at me and my stuffed animals in twinkly lights, but I am actually an exceptional rapper. Like give me any Kanye song and I will hit those bars spot on. But yeah. <laughs> That's, that's my entire life story of singing, basically. I had very high hopes and dreams, and then my dad just absolutely destroyed them. It's fine, though. I'm not salty. I went on to find other passions. I code, I draw, I do really weird things on Twitch, apparently. I have no idea how my parents feel about this, because they can definitely hear me from their bedroom every time I do weird shit on Twitch. And sometimes they'll stop by, 
Last time I was building our uh, mutant army and when my mom stopped by with my little sister, my mom asked me, what is the purpose of this? What is the purpose of this? I don't know, it's just fun. I told her that we were just prepping for the invasion. Never quit. If you stumble, get back up. What happened yesterday no longer matters. Rotten begotten, this is already so deeply inspirational. Today is another day. Get back on track and move closer to your dreams and goals. You can do it. You know, I thought I was gonna get on. Maybe brighten your day. But Rotten Begun, genuinely you've brightened my day. Thank you. What's your favorite Kanye album? I mean, okay, the basic answer is the college dropout, right? Everyone loves that album, but everyone loves that album for a reason. I think the songs on that, every single one of them just hits so hard, I fuck with it. But also, he, his very recent project, fuck, what was the latest album called? The latest album that was purely his, the one that has all mine, it has, I'm terrible with names. The way that I recognize albums is purely by their album cover, and I'm also super judgy of the album cover. So I know it's a blue one that has the green text with the blue mountains. That album is fire. Also, Fourth Dimension was a really good project. That one grew on me. I thought Fourth Dimension was weak the first few times I listened to it, and then I watched that dude on YouTube who reviews music, if you guys know what I'm talking about, and he gave that album a 10 out of 10 and everyone was bugging out. So I thought I had to give it another chance. I gave it like three listen throughs and I loved it. Like Fourth Dimension, that song specifically, hits so hard and it has a Christmas song in the background. It shouldn't be such a banger, but it just fucking, it hits and I love that. TCD is my fourth favorite, being honest. Yay, yeah, yay. Mr. Mel. What is your favorite Kanye album thing? Or anyone who has strong feelings about Kanye West. I don't know though. I just, I love everything about Kanye West. I'm not like, I don't own Yeezys or anything, but I think where he came from and the things he's been able to achieve to me are very impressive. 808 easily. Are you kidding? That's probably my least favorite. I don't like the electronic tinge that he brought into it. That's obviously just personal preference, but I didn't, I didn't really like 808 and Heartbreak. But each to his own. Only average song on the album for me is the one with Lil Wayne. Yeah, that's true. Do you guys remember when Lil Wayne was big though? When I was in middle school and I first got my exposure to hip hop and rap, Lil Wayne was very big on the radio. So he was a lot of what I would hear. And he also kind of instilled this how should I say it? Judgment of hip hop and rap in me. Cause at that time it was cool to just shit talk Lil Wayne, but to be honest, now when I listen to Lil Wayne, I think I think he's clever. I think some of his lines are just funny, if that makes sense. Like the things he says are just witty and silly, and if you don't take it too seriously, I think he's great. Everything else is fire. Lil Wayne. <laughs> Yo, dang. Chill. He's not that bad. One person who is kind of whack is Nicki Minaj, though. She used to have great tracks, but she has this tendency to do this thing where she will make a statement and then she'll repeat the same statement as a question and then she'll repeat the same statement as an affirmation. So like on, um, what's it called? On Chun-Li, which otherwise is a banger. On Chun-Li, there's this one part where she goes, something something bitch it's king kong this is king kong yes it's king kong i just think that's a little whack and i know i'm a white girl sitting with twinkly lights and fuzzy blankets but i don't know i don't think that's exceptional lyricism clearly though i have stronger feelings than i thought i had about this my god you got me started i haven't doodled a single thing guys please someone let me know I suppose I could just start doodling something. I'm really on a mission to finish at least one tiny little drawing today, just to start my day off productive and right. I don't know though, I kind of like just babbling. This is why I think Twitch is a very good outlet for me because otherwise I'm just sitting in my room thinking of things and talking basically to myself. So I like that I get to share it with you guys. Black Eye Fish, yo! Welcome! You just missed a very long monologue about Kanye and Lil Wayne. 
So unfortunately, this stream is now dead. Like you missed the absolute highlight of it. How are you doing, homie? Are you ready for your party? Changes the intonation on each line. Obviously a master lyricist. Okay, but wait, it goes further than that. So there was this one song. I don't remember the name of the song anymore. I'm very terrible with names of things, but hey, Zoon Wolf, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it, homie. Welcome to the family. <laughs> I'm glad ranting about Nicki Minaj is what does it for you. There is one song that I can't remember the title of it, but she has an entire verse where she just rhymes China with China with China with China with vagina with China. I don't know. I think it's whack. I obviously can't talk shit because how many hit rap albums am I selling? None. But I don't know, man. It was very weird. Waiting for the bus back right now. Picking up Dank in an hour. You guys, I ship you guys so hard. Your friendship inspires me. When I got on your stream yesterday and Dank was on there, I'm not gonna lie, I was very excited. I didn't think I would be getting the whole shebang. Can't say I've heard that one. The one with China, China, vagina? Hold on. I need to get the title of the song. And then we're just gonna listen to it. Of course, to find the name of this, I'm just googling Nicki Minaj China Vagina. Oh, Rake It Up. Okay, I'm actually not gonna play that song because the song itself is kind of annoying too. But the, the song is Rake It Up. It has Nicki Minaj in it and her entire verse. I can read that off at least. All right. All right. So this is this is the famed Nicki Minaj verse. Yo yo. Brought out the pink Lamborghini just to race with China, brought the wraith to China just to race in China. Little bad Trini bitch, but she mixed with China real thick vagina. Smuggle bricks to China. That's that's just exceptional to me. And I'm not talking shit, because I, I like a lot of rap songs. I even like a lot of Nicki Minaj stuff. I think Chun-Li was a banger, but some lines like that are just so frustratingly whack. I don't get it. Meanwhile, Lily Allen, who's playing right now, is always a goddess. When you first left me, I didn't know what to say. Well, be, I'll, I'll be in Kevin. Lyrical genius, thank you. Clearly talking about me and not Nicki Minaj. Also, guys, I just got an email from Twitch. Letting me know that. Congratulations. We have made it to Twitch affiliate. I... Jesus Christ. Alright, next time I'm getting on, we are throwing a proper fucking party because we just made Twitch affiliate. Jesus Christ. I'm not a big fan of rap, but I listen to NF. Rotten Be Gotten, what's NF? Oh my god, did you request this? No, no one requested it. This is on my playlist. Right now, I'm just playing from Spotify. Congrats. Thank you. I am super excited. This is crazy, guys. I'll fill out the paperwork today, Jesus. How do we even celebrate this? I feel like we need sparklers. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. This is crazy. Oh my god. Guys, I this means we get an emote, right? I think this means I get to make an emote. Oh my god, what emote do we make? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a day! I didn't think this would actually happen that fast. Jesus Christ. Alright guys, you gotta start- you gotta start getting to work. You need to start thinking what emote we're gonna make, cause this is wild. McDab or bust? Yo, bitch, let me get the vape. Hold on. Bitches. And I don't mean bitches, I do mean friends. <laughs> I've been trying to stop saying weird things like bitches on stream because that doesn't at all reflect how I feel about you guys. You need to make three and get them allowed by Twitch. That's fine. We can make three. 
takes a week or so for Twitch to allow them. That's fine. What do I make, though? I feel like it's easier when there's a game that you play every time you get on Twitch, but I don't have a game or anything specific, so I don't even know. Thank you so much, Love Black Eyefish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is going to be awesome. I'm telling you, next time I stream, which I think is going to be on Monday, probably, we're going to throw a party. I'm talking sparklers and cake and probably tea. It's going to be a banger. This is nice, though. God damn. Make a Rick and Morty emo. Oh, God. All right, fine. Fine, fine. It's only fitting. It's Black Eye Fish yesterday went through the trouble on his stream of actually fulfilling my request of drawing out an entire Rick and Morty scene. And I have to say, for someone who had never seen Rick and Morty before, he did a very impressive job. I better get some cheesecake. Yeah, goddamn. We can get cheesecake. Cheesecake is one of the top cakes that I have, so we can do that. All right. I'm officially writing down Rick and Morty emote. But I really want to bang them both into one. We'll find something. I'll, s I'll show you guys on Monday when I come back some ideas for emotes. We could like pitch things to each other, see what's up. Yeah, your ne new favorite show, Black Eye Fish. Did you actually check out Rick and Morty? If you guys haven't seen it, don't let all of the weird fan base get to you. It's actually a hilarious show. Here are mine. Hype. Oh. Oh, is that why you need three? It's like. It's tiers of subscriptions, right? Is that what it is? I don't know, I haven't looked too much into it. I wasn't really even thinking about affiliate, partner, anything like that. So this is... Jesus Christ. Yeah, one is the cheapest. Okay, that makes sense. So we'll have to- we'll have to think of something banging for all the levels. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Alright, let me- let me get a little cheesy with you all. Yeah, those really are dank, those Umo. Did you make those yourself or did you have someone make them for you? I already have ideas for mine, but that's far from now. Why do you say that's far from now, Long King? Believe in yourself. Hmm. If you didn't send me a whisper to check out your channel later, remind me. Like, send me a whisper. I'll check it out, because I'm always looking for people to host. Auto-host when I'm not here. Commission someone. Okay. I'll watch it, like, maybe over the weekend after Dank gets his ass out of my apartment. But you guys could do it together. That could be friendly bro-bonding time watching Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh my god, though. This has been a really weird week. Like... Streaming on Twitch has been a dream forever. Well, vlogging was the OG dream and then streaming on Twitch and I started it a week ago and now already I have you guys who turn up every time I stream. There are these friendly faces that come back, Black Eye Fish, Dank, Zoom Wolf, everyone who shows up multiple times. It means so much to me. Like I, the fact that you guys are here and chatting with me, it's just really cool. I feel like I'm making cool internet friends. Can you type in the chat so I can whisper you? I mean, sure. You could make vlogs too. I guess. The thing about vlogs is I'm not very good at summing up my ideas shortly, as you can tell by the extremely lengthy, entirely talking streams that I do. So I guess I could, but I don't know. I don't know if that would be very... Don't go all soppy on us now. Oh, I actually was about to go all soppy on you guys. Hold on, let me just be in the chat real quick. But it, it it's worth getting soppy over, though. Like, I didn't think... Alright, fine, I won't get all sappy on you guys. Fine, fine. Oh, okay. Alright, I saw the whisper. Now your whisper is blocking my chat on my phone. Saw that you were planning on a Dark Souls. That's my second favorite game. All right, thanks for the wrong link. Saw that you were playing Dark so planning on playing Dark Souls. That's my second favorite game. Know that game inside and out. I actually, I know nothing about that game. So would you actually tune in to watch someone do a completely blind playthrough of Dark Souls? I know you die a lot of times and that's about the limit of what I know about Dark Souls. I feel like no one would want to watch someone just suck at it though. But I mean, let me know. Because I was going to buy it, especially, I feel like, after this, besides cake and a party, I should probably invest a little more into the stream. 
I sent you the right one. Thank you, Lil King. I'll check it out after I'm done with the stream. I've been waiting on this bus for 20 minutes and the time thingy has only gone down five minutes. That is horrible. Also, you were gonna use up all your data, man. Watching this, I'm flattered, but my God. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, it's already 11.30. I'm gonna have to go soon. I'm gonna have to start getting ready. I should have started this even earlier. I thought 10 in the morning was gonna be too early for you guys, but next time I'll know. Next time I'll do it earlier. Of course, but I'm just letting you know it gets really frustrating. That's fine. You can just watch me suffer, you know? Maybe people enjoy that type of thing. This is so sad. Can we get five buses? <laughs> Here, if your bus isn't coming, I can just draw a super speedy bus for you. Unlimited data? My God, this is how you can tell that you're really not living in America. Unlimited data is a dream. It used to be a thing. And then the phone providers took over. Here, but it's okay, Black Eye Fish, I'll just draw you a bus and then you won't have to wait for anything. I don't know what buses look like over there, but they're about to look awesome as fuck. If you guys can hear this song at all, this is Kyoto by Aso. Aso is one of my favorite chill artists. He's not that huge or anything, but his albums are what I listen to when I'm like on a plane or somewhere else where I want to really just relax and kill time. He's a fave. I've been thinking about hitting him up to ask him for his P.O. box to send him fan mail, but is that weird? Would you be creeped out if someone hit you up on Twitter and was like, what's your P.O. box? I love your music. Can I make you stuff? I can't tell if that's invasive. Ireland is a chat. Partly black eye fish. But yeah. I don't know if that would be creepy. I think I'm gonna do it though. Because I do love this guy's music. I like supporting anyone who makes content that I believe in, so. Here we go, hold on. So I have your bus. Do they have designs on them or are they just plain? Because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make this look like what I imagine an Irish bus looking like. All right, oh, this is, this is absolutely beautiful. So then I'm gonna draw... I think P.O. Box is fine. That's just sent to local post office. With no P.O. Box, that's creepy. Yeah, I wouldn't expect him to give me his address. Also, Oliver, hello and welcome. It's, hi, Oliver 18. There's usually a red setter dog on the side of them. If anyone asks about Ireland ever, just say up. Up Navan? Up Navan? What's that? Alright, here we go. Hold on. So, this is in a dream fantasy world. There's also clouds and a nice happy sun because this is a dream fantasy world. This is the dream fantasy world where Dank and Black Eye Fish actually catch the bus. This is them speeding off to go party and celebrate going to India. Of course, that's only a pipe dream and your bus is never going to come and you're going to be trapped there watching me forever. But. Navin. What is it? What is up Navin? What does that mean? I feel like I'm being let in on the Irish secrets though. I appreciate it. I love this song too. But yeah, Black Eye Fish. What's up Navin? Also, Oliver, what are you getting up to today? Happy Friday, homie. It's the end of the week. We got past it, another week survived. Wow, I look cute in that. <laughs> Which one are you? Are you the one closer to the front of the bus? Or are you the one further in the back? You can take your pick. There's too many levels of slang to go through to reach a point of understanding. Navin, Navin is my city, oh. Please take me through the levels of slang. I really would love to come out of Twitch streaming as just a very well-seasoned Irish culture expert. He's the taller one. Okay. I feel like you guys need some hair because you guys aren't bald. Well, actually, Dank might be bald. I've never seen Dank, so. <laughs> Six foot two pole. You are so beautiful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Good morning, Des. 
It might not be morning anymore where you are. For me, it's 11.30. So good afternoon, Des. Welcome to the chat. What are you getting up to on this lovely day? Oh my god, my doodling has just been very low level here. Wow, way to assume my hairstyle. Homie, describe it to me, because otherwise you're about to get a blue mohawk. You have exactly 30 seconds to tell me your hairstyle. He's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, that that's fine. I don't think being tall is a very bad thing, that's nice. Alright, fine. You've had your 30 seconds, Dank. You're getting a blue mohawk. I'm assuming your hairstyle. Alright, there we go. So now Dank has his blue mohawk ready to go and party. It's an absolute unit. Shortish hair on the top of my head, shortish hair around the jawline and chin. Dude, way too late. Sucks, now you have a blue mohawk. Welcome to the Mohawk Squad. Just shortish everything. Shortish person, shortish hair, shortish facial. That's fine. Dank, are you ever gonna stream? Do you stream? Do I just not know that you stream? I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited to go out and see my little interns and all of the work that they've done so far. I think afterward, I'm gonna be very much an adult, and I'm gonna take them out to ramen noodles. Not that I have the cash flow to support that type of thing, but I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm, technically speaking, their elder. Like, I'm only two or three years older than them, but since I was their mentor, I feel like I'm supposed to do a little thing for them, you know? So if I invite them out to ramen noodles, there's a very good ramen place by my school. I feel like I should, I should probably pay for it, right? Is that the adult thing to do? Is that what adults do? We need to do a triple stream. That's what I'm saying. Well, yesterday Black Eye Fish was saying we could play um, Minecraft, which would be a lot of fun. And now that I'm affiliate, you know, I'll just get a proper server. Like I can start investing. The guy beside me dropped a crisp and he won't stop crushing it. <laughs> crisp. That's so Irish of you. Oh shit, we need to do a third for RLCS team. What is RLCS? How clueless am I? I feel like I'm learning lots of things within my first week on Twitch though. Rocket League. Oh, I am so exceptionally bad at Rocket League. I can't. The, the view, whether it's following the car or it's just spinning around to me, it's so nauseating. I can't keep track of it. I'll try Rocket League, but my god, I don't think you would want me on any league of yours. Depends how many people you invite. Yeah, that's also true. But yeah, sorry Dank, but I think I would be a terrible choice for your third on that. You would want to find someone who's a professional. My, my style of gaming is more low-key things where I can create. Like Minecraft, Sims, um, I don't know if you guys know Planet Coaster, but that game's a lot of fun. You basically just build your own theme park, but it's a lot more in-depth than that. I like to build up an entire world and then build stories around it, stuff like that. That, to me, is what I enjoy. Competitive gaming, since I suck, competitive gaming isn't that much fun. Everyone's invited to Black Eye Fish's party anyway, pull up. Yo, I'll be there in like, uh, 12 hours between the time it'll take me to get a ticket and fly over there. That'd be so much fun. If I wasn't going out immediately after this to watch my interns, I would suggest just streaming your party because that would be fun. But we'll have a stream party on Monday anyway to celebrate affiliate, so sick. Tea, I came for tea. Do we still have tea? Yes, we do, Vecta. Um, so today we're enjoying a fine vintage English breakfast tea in my specially made mug that is not focusing. It says, live slow, die whenever. Because if that's not the motto, I don't know what is. So we're enjoying a fine English breakfast, just a touch of sugar and milk. Very delicious. If you provide the bean dip, yo. I've never had bean dip, but that sounds like a party thing, so. I only have tea. Someone bring milk, though. Dude, can't you just go to a corner market and get milk? I don't know how it is over in Ireland, but at least here. 
Yikes. Yikes at what, Des? I was listening to some music earlier that had an amazing dip pun and I need to remember it. Oh, okay. So at least Dank and Black Eyed Fish might know this. Yesterday at work, we were filming a promotional video for our lab and this was probably my finest moment in recent history. My boss and I were standing over the shoulder of another lab worker and that lab worker was in our lab, obviously. He was showing us some mazes. We do these microfluidic mazes in our lab. He was showing some images of the mazes to the people who were there to film us. And the guy who was helping us film, he goes, oh, those are pretty cool. And then without hesitation, I go, yeah, they're pretty amazing. And my boss, this stoic Russian man, he leaned all the way back and he just said, oh, and that's how I knew I'd made it. Guys, that was the best pun I had ever delivered. The delivery was flawless. I even got my boss annoyed. It was exceptional. That was the highlight of my day. Small world. In Iran begun? But yeah, so yesterday was a wild day at work. It was so nice though. They were there. Originally, they were there to film a student profile on me. Dank, I really hope that's a reaction to my pun because I thought it was exceptional. I was so excited. I told all of my friends immediately after that happened, I went to tell everyone how great my pun was. Interns too? Where are the interns and why aren't they carrying more rocks on their backs? Clearly they're slacking. <laughs> well, actually we have a collection of interns in our lab. So some of them have to do cool work like I do. We had a couple of them programming, which were my interns, like I was their boss. But we also had some people there doing just pure, like, busy work. I don't want to say busy work, but it was basically busy work. But those were also the interns that get paid. So they had to sit there for a really long time doing this mundane thing over and over again for six weeks, but they got paid. So, I think it was fine for them. That pun was a chabal. Bus here. <laughs> Black eye fish save travels. My god. But yeah, the interns are, to me, they're my babies. I protect and teach them. Just call them what they are, coffee boys and girls. <laughs> no, we we actually take proper care of our interns. I never had them carrying coffee or anything. They were there doing the same type of work that I would be doing if they weren't there. They were basically just making my job easier. Yeah, here in America, we uh, we really take good care of our youngins. Though the fact that they didn't get paid was kind of lame. I, I don't approve of that sort of thing. I think unpaid internships are... I guess I have to be careful what I say here, right? Because everything's on the VOD. I was gonna say that unpaid internships are sort of like a modern slavery. Obviously without the implications of trapping someone, forcing them to do work, beating them or abusing them, but the idea that young people should be expected to go to a company and work for free is absolutely ridiculous to me. I, I can't understand that. If you respect the people who are there to do work for you and they're doing real work, then you should pay them. It just doesn't make any sense. And I'm, especially when it's like multi-million dollar companies and they're not paying their interns, that just makes no sense to me. There's no way you can't spare eight dollars an hour for those kids. They're not even there that long. It's indentured servitude, basically. I mean, you can leave at any point is the difference, but I have my friend who I was streaming with on Saturday, Yeva. She when she first got out of college, there were a couple offers for her for unpaid work. They would only pay for her transportation. A college graduate with a proper degree and experience and they wanted her to work for free. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Experience is a currency in and of itself. Yeah, that's what they'll tell you. But if it's good experience, right, it's not just experience. You're doing work for a company that's making money off your experience. You should pay those people. To me, that's one thing that I will never, like, change my mind on. It just doesn't make sense to me. I thank the bus driver getting on the bus. Black Eye Fish, good on you being polite to your bus driver. Like a boss. Congratulations on being a good and polite person. I thank everyone. I've found that being nice to people, like just thanking everyone who's doing their jobs, tends to lead to better outcomes. Like when you're grateful for people that do things, they tend to be nicer to you. 
Here in Ireland, you need major experience because there are so many people applying for jobs. Well, that also depends on your field, right? So there are a bunch of different fields you could get into. Some of them are not going to be as saturated with people. I understand why, in theory, companies want experience before they can give you a proper job, but in practice, it's just, it's just indentured servitude. There are many career fields where they pay you, but peanuts in most stats degree or not. Yeah, that's true. Well, it doesn't have to be some excessive amount of money, you know, as long as they're paying you something for your time. Thank you for existing. Me? You're welcome for existing. I've been doing it for 19 years and running, so, you know. Thank the bus driver. Buy soup like epic. Yeah, Black Eye Fish, your day just sounds like it's being exceptionally interesting. I went to a technical school and they promised to put everyone in a job once we graduated. They never did it for me. States, early spelling. That, wait, states? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, Vecta, I know. There are a lot of places that won't want you to pay you, but I guess I'm just being optimistic here, hoping that things will change. I think it should be outlawed. To be honest, making people work for free should be outlawed. Even if you're only paying them peanuts, you should be paying them something. But yeah, the technical school rotten begotten. So what do you do now? Do you have a job or are you still looking for something? Because that's pretty dumb. If the school promised you jobs and then didn't get it, that's stupid. My internet might cut on the bus. Well, Black Eye Fish, if you disappear, thank you very much for stopping by. <laughs> that Kavan internet. Kavan. Man. All your words look so normal, yet... I feel like the pronunciations just aren't normal. Good luck in the wilderness. Yeah, seriously, good luck out there. If there's no internet, it might as well be the black void. Do you, is it douchey if I vape? Like, will you judge me and stop watching if I have this tiny vape? Because if you will, for what it's worth, it doesn't mean that much to me. It's just a nice way to start the day. If they did that, they'd just pass it on to the consumer, the bottom rungs of the company and workforces. It wouldn't really change anything and probably make things worse for some. Vecta, I have to ask, how do you feel about minimum wage then? Like, do you think ra raising the minimum wage to something like $15 an hour? Because you said you're in America, right? Do you think that also gets carried on to the consumer? I have two part-time jobs right now, but I'm trying to apply for a full-time job. Two part-time jobs is harsh, but good luck to you, homie. I believe in you. I mean, it sounds like if you went to a technical school, usually those are training you, you for careers that have those desirable skills, so... I don't be too worried. No, vape away. Okay. Some people are, honestly, even I sometimes judge. And I try not to be a judgmental person, but if someone's like ripping a vape really hard, it's a huge mod, there's big clouds. You know, I judge on the inside a little bit. I won't stop watching, but. But in my time, they made, raised minimum wage to $15, so I'm trying to get town. Yeah, that's what I figured you meant. Uh, they raised the minimum wage to 15, so I'm trying to get a job here. That makes sense. If you can get that job, that would be fantastic. <sighs> oh my god. I wish I could just do this all day. I might do like a marathon stream on Monday. Because this is so much fun. I had to skip a job interview because the salary was too low even to stay, to even stay at the job where I was. Oh my god, I'm still tired. Yeah. A rotten begun. I'm not envious. You should just try and go take a nap at least. Make a little bite. If a big and beautiful balloon crosses in your way, would you take it or just pop it? I would definitely take it. I think it's a little bit like if you're walking through a field and you see a really beautiful flower, right? Do you pluck it or do you just stay there and look at it? I like to be able to look at beautiful things, you know? I don't need to own it, but I would keep it. I like balloons. I like a lot of things. This is one thing you guys are going to learn about me over time is that I'm super easy to get excited and pleased. I'm generally very excited to be alive and grateful for most things, so it doesn't really matter. His palms are sweaty. Papus. <laughs> Yo. I also don't really like the sound of popping balloons, to be honest. I feel like I should change the name of this stream to not include doodling. I'm- guys, I still have my notebook. I'm ready to draw shit, I just haven't. You guys are entertaining me too much in the chat, to be honest. I feel like this happens every time. This whole week, I've had these big ideas, but then you guys come in and are interesting and entertaining, and then 
I just end up chatting with you guys all night, which is good. It's fine by me. But yeah. Also, my palms are sweaty from this tea and the vaping and thinking about all the driving I'm about to have to do. I'm a little sweaty too. So when you doodle, it's because we're boring. Noted. Chill. No, it's not. Well, here's the thing. So, I stream in IRL, right? I hope you guys don't mind if I'm honest. Should I just not be saying things? I don't know. Just sitting next to a polite old man. That's that's very fitting, Black Eye Fish, so you're with your own kind, right? Collapsing lungs and saying thank you to bus drivers. I can't sound, stand the sound of people sliding their hands on tables or walls. I have to leave the room and the sound of styrofoam. Thanks for sharing, Rotten Begun. What's the schedule, Black Eye Fish? All right, you guys do your own thing. But no, Vecta, it's not that I doodle when I'm bored, but I feel like when you stream under IRL, it's very presumptuous to assume that people will show up and want to talk to you, right? I don't want to sit here with absolutely nothing to do, just waiting for viewers to come in and chat with me. I feel like, one, that's undue pressure on the viewers. Like, I'm here to chat with you guys. You don't have to show up to entertain me. You know what I mean? So, the last stream I was building the soldiers. Uh, two streams ago, I was building a cardboard rocket ship, right? It's not that... I'm saving it for when I'm bored, it's just so that there's always something for me to do and I'm not just waiting on you guys to like, entertain me, you know what I mean? But, that's also why I'm happy to chat, because the reason I'm in IRL, even when I'm drawing or painting, is I want to talk to you guys, that's that's the main reason that I'm here. I'm just picking on you because it's your first week. It's okay, you can pick on me. I have very tough skin. I was actually prepared for people to be mean and rude and creepy, but everyone's just been really nice and friendly, and I appreciate it. So, Vecta, keep on going. You can keep on picking me on me as much as you want. But yeah, also, my hope was I would just come up with some really dank doodles, you know, solidify my place on Twitch as an exceptional artist, but no doodles are happening. Though I do have black eye fish and dank sitting on a bus and that's about it. There's roadworks in Nivan and the street by McDonald's is completely cut off so there's many traffic. Hold on, I think the saddest part of this is that the street by McDonald's is cut off. What are you gonna eat if there's no McDonald's? R.I.P. Yeah, seriously, that's just upsetting. But yeah. I was gonna do both things. I'm gonna do it. Do you guys have any sick plans for the weekend? I know um, Black Eye Fish and Thank GH are going to be partying and getting ready for vacations, but... Well, you'll probably get the creepies a lot more than the mean ones. Insert corny, overly sweet compliment here. Ah, uh, Vecta, thank you for that corny, overly sweet compliment. That was so nice of you. Thank you. I had, I had one person in, in the whispers offering to pay $10,000 for a video of me fingering myself. But that's the only creepy thing that's been said to me all week, which I appreciate. That's fine. I eat boar gore. Well, you're not gonna eat a boar gore if McDonald's is closed. Also, show Bob's and Vaheen. <laughs> Maybe someday. Maybe if I get really into streaming, like, desperate for views and follows, I'll do that. But I like this. I feel like it's very impressive that 10 G's is 10 G's. I highly doubt that person's gonna actually give me 10 G's. Plus, why would someone offer me, genuinely offer 10k when they could just go on Pornhub and see that type of thing? I'm, I'm feeling maybe they're picking on people who they think would have low self-esteem. Just, you know. But, anyway. It's really nice to be here. I I don't feel the need to do things to try and get people in on the stream because like even you guys, just having you guys around, this is enough for me. This, if you guys show up every once in a while to my streams, this is more than enough for me because I feel like with this number of people, I can actually have a conversation with all of you and I don't have to just be doing crazy shit all the time. You should have taken the deal. You could stuff your finger in your nose as long as you as long as you get in and writing, he has to pay you. But wasn't his specific and that's his fault. ASMR stream a riot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Vecta, if he actually signed a contract, sure, I'll just like finger my schnoz a little bit. You know, pick some boogers out and really confuse him on what he's looking at. 
ASMR stream a riot. I will do an ASMR stream. I don't know if it'll be serious ASMR, but I'll do something like that. Back to the ASMR hammers and paintbrush or riot. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll get a very terrible ASMR going. I have a lot of ideas for things I want to do. It's just a matter of finding that time. Like, between work and stuff. But when I have that free house for a week and a half... Boys, ladies, we're gonna get real lit. Oh my god, okay. Alright, guys, it is almost 11.50 where I am. I have to leave the house in 10 minutes. So I feel like I should get off very shortly. I wasn't planning on being on too long anyway today, but on Monday, I'm thinking I'm gonna come in in the morning, stick around as long as I can, because I don't have any plans. We can do sparklers and cake and tea, throw a party, celebrate affiliate. Does that sound good, guys? Are you going to get a microphone with he human ears too? <laughs> I mean, I suppose. Also, Vecta, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the family, homie. Um, draw Amaranth. I can't draw that level of beauty. Maybe when I level up my drawing skills, I'll be able to draw Amaranth. But yeah. Oh my god, guys. Okay. Thank you for stopping by for this super short early morning stream. I really wanted to test out this time frame, see if people would actually stop by at this hour, so I think this is good. I think I'm gonna start streaming a little bit earlier a few days a week. Also, since I've only been on for a week, I've been trying out different days, you know? Different days, different times. I'm working on getting an actual schedule going, but I have a job and school. So it might just continue to be me streaming whenever I can stream, you know? Though I love doing this, so I'm doing it as often as I can. Automod held a message for reason, identity. Oh, dank, your post got held by Automod. Very strange. I have never been thanked by an attractive woman for follow her. It's a new era. Vecta, I mean, thank you for the compliment, but also, I don't know, I appreciate every single person who turns in and follows me. That's an enormous compliment. The fact that you think this is something you'll want to watch again, that means the world to me so it's weird that no one else has thanked you because i feel like none of us are on the level where we should forget that the whole reason we can be here is because people like you show up i feel like i'm getting super cheesy today i'm sorry guys <laughs> wow hit a keyword i'm guessing yeah i think it was thoughtery whatever i i kind of want to turn off automod you did it again okay i'm guessing thought is what's not allowed. I'm just gonna turn off auto mod. This is stupid. I need to throw a bit of a tiny bit of creepy on at the end. That's fine. In fact, I will think back on this very fondly, even if it is creepy, so. I don't think it like thought when I was referring to Amaranth. She's not a thought, she's fine. Look, here's the thing. She is making a ton of money and she's hit a market where people are willing to tune in every single day, send her donations, subscribe, do all those things. Whether or not you think she's a thought, she's more successful than any of us will ever be on Twitch. So I can't be mad. She can do her own thing. I've seen her do Just Dance, the ASMR. If that's what people watch, I can't be mad, you know? It's what the people want. Daniel just called me and yelled in my ears, I lost four hearing points. You poor thing. Yeah, she makes bank. Fair play to her. Yeah. It's- it's like anyone like that. The Kardashians, Amaranth, I guess I'm putting them on the same level here, I think that's fair. I can't be mad at them, it's all fine. Zune, are you still there? If she isn't, you can just whisper. I don't think she is though, she hasn't said anything in a hot minute. But like, catchphrase, you say what you see. But just like catchphrase, you say what you see. I don't know what that means, dang. But I do say what I see. I like to be honest about things, but my honest opinion is I can't be mad at people who do stuff like that. If you can make success, more power to you. Alright, I'm actually- I'm gonna- I'm gonna chug this tea, and then I'm gonna skedaddle. Cause I have to get dressed and ready, go and support my little kids, sign up for affiliate. Mmm. This tea is ice cold anyway, so it's fine. Jesus Christ, what is that super long link? I'm gonna come up with ASMR too. Yeah, holy link length. Oh, catchphrase. Oh, you Europeans with your inside knowledge of European shows.
but yeah i need to check that before i send it's fine it doesn't really matter you can spam my chat we're all friends here so yeah all right like I was saying before, I'm really, really terrible at getting off of streams because I never want to get off. I would just chat with you guys all day if I could. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to go and support my little interns. They're going to be presenting their findings. I'm going to go harass them with really hard questions and try and trip them up because this is a great experience for public speaking for them. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go get ready to leave. Thank you guys for stopping by. I know this was a really short stream and we didn't actually do any doodling, but there was tea and there was fuzzy blankets. So I feel like I've kind of delivered. I have a Twitter where I announce things that I'm going to do. If you want to know that sort of thing, it should be below in my panels, but it's also just Miglabyte. And I will see you guys on Monday, maybe on the weekend. If I have nothing to do, I might honestly just do a quick stream too. But on Monday, we're going to party. So, all right, dank, bye, black eye fish, goodbye, have fun guys, enjoy your celebration. If you end up live streaming it, I might stop by in the middle of harassing my students. Vecta, see you later, thank you again for the follow, and, you know, all of you, take care. Follow me back on Insta though. God damn it, black eye fish, did I not follow you back on Insta? I told you to send me a DM on Insta. If any of you follow me on Insta and I don't follow you back, just send me a DM, I'll do it. Because I want to see what you guys are up to too. But yeah, I'll follow back. <sighs> okay. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you again. Bye.